Hello, everybody. Hi, I am Marcia Ifrasinina. And my name is Maya from Ghana. And this is our last day, actually, in the YouTube studio of the Munich Security Conference. And we cannot leave it without talking with the person who is responsible for everything here. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome uh, the CEO of Munich Security Conference, Mr. Benedict Franke. You're smiling. It's a good sign. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your feelings in the end uh, of such a big, big uh, uh, case for, for the whole world? Obviously, on one level, I'm relieved that it's almost over. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad that you found it a worthwhile experience. Yeah. I thought that, you know, on style, we achieved what we wanted to, namely to provide uh, a platform for ideas, a marketplace mm -hmm. for ideas, a place where debates can take place that can't take place anywhere else. And then on the substance level, I thought that some very good signs came out from Munich. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to send a sign of transatlantic unity with giving the award to Finland and Sweden last night. Uh, we wanted to integrate the global south into our debates, catch up on something we should have done long, long ago. Yeah. And we wanted a sign of, sent a sign of support to Ukraine in a very strong and unmistakable clear sign. I think we've done that. Yeah, the, the whole country was following, sorry, the yeah. whole country, the whole Ukraine was following, even yeah. c civilians who never knew anything about a weapon or security, the whole country was following what's going on here in, in, uh, in this conference. So it was a great response for everybody of us. And I think I'm so glad they included Africa this time around yeah. because I think um, on my social media handle, so many people are asking me, what is Munich Security Conference? So now I'm <laughs> now educating more people about this Absolutely. conference. And I want to say thank you so much for bringing me in here. But I want to know, what was your highlight? My personal highlight? Yep. In addition to President Zelensky opening the conference mm. um, with a very powerful speech in English that really resonated with the people in the audience and the viewers around the world, I think my highlight were a couple of the Munich moments, as we call them. Mm. You know, debates that don't take place anywhere else. The meeting between the president of Georgia, the president of Azerbaijan and the prime minister of Armenia, that is something you don't get anywhere else. And um, the, the strong showing from the Ukrainian delegation, which we're very proud of. And we've been friends of Ukraine, not just for the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been friends for long. Yeah. And President Zelensky, this first foreign trip, after his election was to Munich. And so I, I think my highlight, in addition to the Munich moments, was this, this very strong Ukrainian touch to the entire event. So maybe you could tell us one fact that nobody knows about the Munich Security Conference. I think there are a lot of facts no one <laughs> knows please. about the Munich Security <laughs> Conference. Um, you know, there, something that I think people don't really understand is how many meetings are taking place at the sidelines. So, um, we have done well over 3,000 in really? the course of the weekend, 3,000 that we organized. Um, wow. And I think that is something that maybe one or the other person has heard of, but we think more people should know that that's really what Munich is about, these meetings. Only on this location? Yes. Wow, and it's like impressive. Everyone, everyone is here. Yeah. Know, that's, the, that's one of the unique things about this conference. Like you step out and you meet people that you don't expect to meet. You'll be like, mm -hmm. hey, hello. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. I, I want to know. So after this conference, yeah, what do you take away from this conference? So I think I'm, I'm taking away three things. First, the transatlantic alliance is absolutely crucial to everything, but certainly not sufficient to solve anything. So we need to get much better at broadening and deepening our alliances. We need to get much better at understanding the, the legitimate and perceived worries of what is called the global south. And it's a terrible term and we need to find a better one, maybe the global middle. We just need to find a term for those countries that don't necessarily buy or sign up to the current narrative. Um, there is a legitimate um, accusation of double standards that we treat the war in Ukraine differently from wars in Africa. And I think what I'm really taking away with me is that we need to get much better at listening to those countries that don't share our view. And I'm, I don't mean our enemies. I mean those countries that haven't decided and haven't made up their mind. And we need to get much better at communicating the benefits of a international rules-based order. 
So as I, as I have said, the whole Ukraine was following what's going on here. And now we have 30 seconds and uh, we have to, uh, to um, let you go. Could you say any message for Ukrainians? I mean, not people of government, governmental or security guys, to all the Ukrainian people who are waiting and are full of hope that this conference will change a lot in 2023. Do you have any personal message to them? I certainly have. Um, you are all heroes. <laughs> you are doing such an amazing job at resisting. You are the Europeans so many of us really want to be. And what we have tried to do here is to offer a platform for those that support you and to persuade those that aren't yet doing enough to do even more. So the message from Munich is hold out, keep going, And we, from our very uh, far away point, will do everything we can to support you. Thank Slava you. Ukraini. Heroiam Slava. Wow. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Thank you for everything you've done during these three days. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for not grilling me. Oh, And wow. please, please come back often. Thank you. Okay, you we will. Right. I hope with our president, because he promised that we will win this year and next time he will be here personally. We will, we will fight for this. Thank well, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.